Civil rights attorney Ben Crump is calling for the Department of Justice to investigate the death of Jershon Freeman. Freeman died in Shelby County Jail back in October after an altercation with corrections officers. ABC 24's Jay Shakur has more. An autopsy shows Jershon Freeman had multiple bruises and deep cuts when he died, and a coroner ruled his death a homicide. Attorneys for his family say this issue is worth caring about, and family and local activists are once again calling for transparency and reform at 201 Poplar. Justice for Jershon Freeman! Justice for Jershon Freeman. Far too familiar chance as Jershon Freeman's family and attorneys call for transparency and accountability after his death in October of 2022, now ruled a homicide at 201 Poplar. They killed my boy. My boy didn't deserve it. Freeman family attorney Jake Brown says there is video showing Freeman naked, officers coming to his cell, then Freeman outside of the cell. But how he got out of the cell is still unknown. And while out of his cell, attorneys for the family allege a number of correctional officers descended on him right. and instead of taking reasonable measures to apprehend him with a minimum of risk, they began striking Gershon repeatedly. There has long been calls for reform at 201 Poplar, a local organization Just City often leading the charge. In a correctional facility, uh, it's uh, death should be very rare. Uh, you, you, if, if it's run correctly, if it's staffed correctly. According to the most recent data shared by the Shelby County Sheriff's Office in 2020, nine people died while in their custody, 10 in 2021, and 11 died in 2022. This number includes Mr. Freeman. Attorney Brown says just one death is too many. There's a history at the Shelby County Jail. A history that Jeff City's Josh Spickler says needs reform in three immediate ways. First, a reduction in the population of that jail. Uh, there are far too many people in there on lower level offenses who will show up to court, who are not a risk to our community. And along with upgrading personnel training, Spickler advocates reevaluating how health and mental care are administered. We contract with a private company, a for profit company, to offer health care in our jail. And so that incentivizes that company to limit its expenses. And by expenses, I mean health care. Now, we did reach out to the Shelby County Sheriff's Office for additional comment, and they told us they do not comment on an open and active investigation. Back to you.